Hi, YouTube. Welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. I said that I would be back a couple of times with the topic of um, the proms and baby showers, but no weddings or very few weddings. And before I get started, I don't know about you guys, but I am not a summer person. It is like, I know yesterday it clocked in my car at like 98 degrees and that is too much especially when my air conditioning is not working at full capacity so it's like misery for me and I'm actually sitting in my basement right now in my office and you would think that it would be a little bit cooler down here and it is but I am like burning up so I just had to get that little rant out there Anywho, the reason why I have been kind of putting this particular topic off is because, as I mentioned in my other, and maybe in my last video, I know some people, you know, may have a knee-jerk reaction on, you know, certain topics or what have you. And um, this particular one, I know I'm not the only person that's um, thought about it or even talked about it. And that is... You know, every time there's prom season, I notice in our community that we go all out, you know, for proms and even baby showers. But it just seems to me that that same zeal and fervor is not put into, um, you know, planning for a wedding. Now, my thing is, if you as a parent can plan for your child's future prom, why can't you plan for your child's future wedding? Now you might say, okay, that's apples and oranges. The prom is, you know, they're 17, 18 years old. You know, they're just, you know, going into adulthood, blah, blah, blah. But you know what is happening a lot of times with those 17 and 18 year olds? They're having sex. They're having babies. And they're not being raised to value and look forward to a wedding, especially in our community. And I really don't know why that is, uh, why there is such a, dis you know, such a disparity against um, marriage. Now, I'm about to step on some toes a little bit here. You know, um, you know, because I guess studies or whatever show, you know, um, the majority of black women, you know, we do get married uh, after a certain age. But a lot of times it's after a child or two or three. And the man that you're not marrying is not the father of any of those children. How do we get to this? You know, people might not want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. You know, um, and as I mentioned in another um, video, I said eventually I would like to do a podcast because, um, you know, I think that I could kind of um, wrangle my followers in more so because people will know what they're getting as opposed to me doing this YouTube channel and, any, and, and anybody could just come across my channel if they're not really understanding where I'm coming from, you know, that can cause, you know, um, some consternation and some hate, you know, which is not my, um, which is not my, it's not what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm just trying to give us some food for thought and just touch on subjects that a lot of people in our community don't want to talk about. Either they're scared or they're, um, they don't want to, um, be looked upon as a uh, sellout or judgmental or, um, you know, you're not, you're not keeping it real. You know, this, I mean, this has become the norm in our communities. Elaborate proms, elaborate baby showers, because I'm hearing something about, you know, the mother is put on like this throne-like chair. And where are, where are the weddings? Where are the weddings? And I know weddings happen in our community. I'm married. The majority of the people I know are married or were married, but for the most part are married. But 
I also work with a lot of single black women. They had the children. I'm sure they had a fabulous prom, but no wedding. Why, where, where are the weddings, you know? And hopefully one day, I don't know if you guys remember, but years ago, there was this young lady and I forgot what city she was in. Uh, and I don't even remember the movement, but it was called something like um, uh, Marry Your Baby Daddy or something like that. And I would actually eventually love to do something like that, um, encourage marriage, um, you know, between the young people. You know, my thing is, and I've said this online many times, if you can lay up with a woman, man, or whatever, have children, you're living together, why can't you come together in matrimony? That, that's something that I don't understand. And of course, there's always those people, ain't, everybody ain't trying to get married. Okay, I'm not talking to you. Oh, let me put that disclaimer in. I, I forgot. Anytime I talk about marriage on my channel, I said that I was going to start putting a disclaimer because I know that the marriage topic is very touchy in our community. And I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the women who want to get married. I'm talking to the women who want answers. Well, why aren't these men marrying us? They, they, some people want answers. I did a video um, some time ago um, asking, or um, it was, are you a placeholder in your boyfriend's life? You know, um, you know, because a lot of times women are planning their lives, their futures around a man that doesn't want to be with them, not, as, not for a wife, you know. And, you know, and a lot of times we, you know, we wonder uh, why that man isn't trying to step up to the plate. Well, he's not trying to step up to the plate because you're not the one, you know, and that's unfortunate. Um, for a lot of women, they have to learn it the hard way. But going back to what I was saying, we got these proms. Um, you know, I'm looking online at these women in these beautiful dresses, elaborate dresses and all. And, and probably in 10 years, they're 28. They might have a kid or two and no husband. Why are we doing this in our community? What happened to the marriage rate in our community. And again, not talking to the women that's tired of the marriage talk. I'm not talking to the women who don't ever in their life want to get married. I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not talking to the men either. If you're one of those um, MG, TOW men, I'm not talking to you either. And I'm going to actually discuss that, um, I think it's called men going their own way. I didn't know anything about that really until I started doing my um, YouTube channel. And I've had those men like coming at me um, when I talk about, um, you know, marriage and courting and dating and whatnot. Again, my message isn't for y'all, not for you. You know, I'm a, I consider myself a traditional woman. I'm like in love with the whole nuclear family mommy, daddy, and your children that you had together in matrimony, that's me. Ironically, my husband and I don't have children, but that's still my, that's my platform. And I hope that people who understand what I'm talking about, you know, you get my platform. You know, if you don't get it, if what I'm saying is making you angry, I'm not your platform, you know. So there you have it. You know, that's my opinion on, you know, the proms versus the weddings. Um, I will be back with more topics because that's what I do. So um, check out my other videos. See if I have anything of interest that you want to hear. And, um, and if you want, drop me a question. Is there a topic that you would like for me to talk about? Hit me up and I'll talk to you later. Bye.